Hey YouTube, Just Jake here with another flashlight review. Now, if you're on the search for a current EDC flashlight that you don't have, or maybe you're looking for something, a, a flashlight to add to your collection, or maybe another flashlight to substitute, or even maybe take the current place of your current EDC flashlight, then here is one to really take a look at it. It's really underestimated. This is the Coast HP1 LED flashlight. Now it comes in this box and this box is guaranteed or certified frustration free, which means no wire ties, no clamshells and a low waste. So pretty um, with, I, I suppose with a recycled type of, uh, of products. Now open the box. Inside you're gonna find a mini catalog HP one, it's a little picture right there and coast that shows you different other products. So knife, a couple of flashlights, rechargeable, non rechargeable, and they're one of their headlamps, the series. So this is the flashlight and uh, it's not new. I've used, I've been using this for about a year now. And so you'll see it has, it has some, uh, some scratches, a couple of uh, signs that it's been wearing out move the box here okay so this is the flashlight I've had it for a year now and no complaints at all this is my current EDC flashlight for wherever I go if I have to bring something with me a flashlight other than my night core tube that's always on my keychain with my with my keys I bring this little guy now this flashlight has been around for I'm really not sure but pretty much a while now. It's just that I think that it's really, really an underestimated flashlight. I brought, I bought this flashlight on Amazon for about $10 and 90 cents. So around, rounded up to $11, $11 for this flashlight. And I cannot find another flashlight that at the same price can offer me what this flashlight offers me now. Now, this is not only a normal little tiny flashlight that goes on one AA battery. I think I see it much more than that. It's got a lot of, just a lot of style, a lot of personality in this flashlight. So let's go to the specs. One of the specs is, is the aluminum type of metal resistant to rust and corrosion. Then um, you have your focusing system. Now, Coast uses their pure beam focusing optic system, which means it goes from an ultra view flood beam. So that means that by looking at the head here, this moves up and down. Okay, so the, your ultra view flood beam is basically keeping it down like this. And that is a perfect circle. Just look at that. It's a perfect circle. There's no artifacts. There's no big uh, black holes or maybe a little, a little bit of squiggly lines. It's just a perfect circle, guys. And I will take this outside later and show you how, how just how perfect it is because now I have my light on and maybe you can't see it. So this is the ultra view flood beam, what Coast calls it. And you could transition it to a bullseye spot beam. So there's the spot. You can see the, the hot spot right there. And then you have your flood out here. So for those who really don't understand what I'm trying to say is that you, with this little tiny flashlight, you have a two in one. You have flood beam and it's not a normal flood beam. No other flashlight that I own or that I've seen can produce this type of perfect, smooth white light. Now it's a neutral white, but the cool thing about it is that it is just smooth on the eyes. It lets you see everything in front of you perfectly with no problems at all and without blinding you. How many times has it happened that having one of your flashlights and maybe you're trying to look at something, trying to look at a piece of paper and that hot spot is just right in your way. While with this, look at that, perfectly illuminated, you can completely read it. Now it's probably coming about a little bit brighter on my camera, but it's just with this flood beam, it's, it's just incredible. It's smooth on the eyes and it doesn't bother at all. 
and the perfect circle. Wow, I just, I can't stop. Anyway, going on, it comes also with this uh, secure clip. Now the clip is is uh, secured by two screws there. Uh, I can't tell you which type of screws are there, but if you have the right uh, screwdriver, then uh, yeah, you could take them out. You could take them out if you really want to, but I love the clip. It's pretty sturdy. It's, uh, it's fine, no problems at all. Going on now, over here in the back, take out the tail cap, whoops. I gotta put some more silicone oil on there. So I'm currently using a normal AA battery. So no Energizer, no Duracell, and uh, no rechargeable either. But this flashlight accepts three different types of batteries. And yes, that is right, I will say it again, three types of batteries. It accepts NIMH, so your nickel metal hydrate rechargeable batteries. With the nickel metal hydrate rechargeable batteries, it will go up to 68 lumens and will last for about two hours and 15 minutes. That's what night, that's what uh, Coast states on their ANSI FL1 standards. And it will throw out to 96 meters. While on alkaline, this goes up to 92 lumens and can last for three hours and 45 minutes on your normal alkaline AA battery and has a throw distance of up to 115 meters. Then it accepts a Leon 14500. With a Leon 14500 in this flashlight, it, it goes up to 220 lumens. That is incredible for a flashlight this size to go up to 220 lumens for one hour and 15 minutes and the throw is 171 meters on a Leon 14500. So again, this flashlight takes three different types of batteries. It can take three different types of batteries. So whether you only have rechargeables in your house or you can get your hands on alkaline or maybe you have a Leon, you know, you go for the Leon 14500, it accepts all three of the flashlights, no problem at all. So that's a, a really cool thing about this, about this flashlight. Another thing about the specs on the, going back to the specs is the knurling. The knurling on this flashlight, I just love it. I love an aggressive type of knurling that you can feel it in your hand, you know, that you can really feel the knurling and that it's not smooth. So this is, I, would, I wouldn't call it an overly aggressive knurling, but you can feel this big time. It is not a smooth knurling. This will stay in your hand. It will fit. It has a great grip, very well made. Just two thumbs up for this on, uh, on Coast. They did a great job on this. And again, this is, I think this is a very underestimated flashlight. Looking on top of the light, you will see inside there are two red words in there, which, our coast, it says coast on two sides where the lead is. And you can only see this when the head is on the ultra view flood beam type. Once you hire the head, you can't see them anymore. But I found that this was very cool. I just love that touch that they give on this little tiny flashlight. It's not, it's not just a normal little tiny flashlight, you know, it, it really is much more. I, I have a hell of a time with this flashlight. Um, I've put this on my bike with gear tie and it brought me home safe. No problem at all. It has fell many times on cement and dirt. Uh, a couple of times brought it out in the rain. It just lasts well. The head still slides with no problems. There's no scratching. It's just well made, very well made flashlight. Just love it. So going to the pros and the cons, like we said, Pros, one of the big pros that I find is awesome is that it accepts three different types of batteries. So that is very cool. You know, if you have a current Leon 14500, you can use it in this flashlight. If your Leon 14500 still isn't recharged or, you know, you need to, to you need the flashlight right away, you can either throw in a nickel metal hydrate or an alkaline. This flashlight will go on three different types of batteries. That is awesome. Another pro is the price. This is for $11. This flashlight costs $11 on Amazon. Currently it is $10.90. So yeah, around $11 and it is worth every penny. 
on that on that aspect now another pro the feeling just the comfort the comfort it's just it's perfect you know i've hooked this up on my pants and my backpack um it's very compact you can put this in uh, in your glove department in your car in like i said in your backpack on uh, in your jacket it's very just very compact i have a meter right here so we're going to measure this real quick so yeah just a little bit over 10 centimeters so that's not bad for as much as this is is really kicking out and another pro is the flood and the throw it has both both in one flood and throw i'm gonna say that again it has flood and throw how many times have we seen that on a flashlight and if it is on a flashlight it's not too good i mean I'd, i've just never seen any flashlight that does a perfect white circle and when this is in front of you you just see everything perfect so perfectly so great inspection light if you need this, you know, uh, for for work reasons, for any type of work, actually, you know, I would highly recommend this. No problem at all. Uh, just, um, yeah. And another thing is the throw. It has a throw. And the throw is very decent for a little 1AA battery or your Leon 14500 in that case. On a little guy like this, where you can, that you always have with you, that you can always keep with you. So another pro is that, as you can see, the button inside is very recessed. It has, it's covered by the, the bottom of the flashlight of the tail cap. So the tail cap is inside and you have this protection all around. What does this let you do? Candle mode. Candle mode, I think, is important for every flashlight. I think every flashlight should be able to stick in candle mode because it's just very annoying to not have a flashlight that can go in candle mode. And when you really need light in the whole room, that you need a type of light that lights up equally the whole room. Instead, you're going to be keeping your flashlight down like this and it's just bothering. You know, you're going you're gonna to have to keep on moving it. Maybe it rolls around. So another pro is that this is anti-roll because of the clip, you know, with the clip here, it will not roll anywhere. And that's, that's pretty much it. So that's pretty much it. So the cons, what are the cons? The only con that I could find with this flashlight, and if you want to call it a con, but for me, it really wasn't. A couple of friends have had problems getting into the button. Now, in the beginning, yeah, it's kind of different because it's it's uh, it's kind of difficult because it's not as the other flashlights. It's uh, the, as I said, the button is recessed. But I've had no problem with this. You know, with your index finger, you can simply turn it on. You know, your middle finger, no problem at all. Even with the thumb, you know, all you have to do is just yeah, you just practice a little bit. You know, that's it. No problem at all, though. So. Basically, no cons on this flashlight. This that is just for if you're the peaky guy and you want you know your button sticking out and you don't like candle mode. Fine, call it a con. Otherwise, all pros on this flashlight. No problem at all. Um, yeah, another thing that I forgot to mention was the momentary. It has momentary, so it basically has everything. This flashlight, you know, everything you really need, you, and, which is your flood and your throw in the best way possible, thanks to Coast and their technology all in one, all put together, great flashlight. I would highly recommend this to everyone, whether you're adding it to your collection or whether you're looking for a new EDC, go for it. It's worth every penny. Um, the price is just incredible for, for what you're getting. Now, I don't wanna say anything about other companies, about other brands, but if you go and try to look for just one type of uh, flashlight that that accepts only one type of battery so you know another edc flashlight i'm not going to say the brand's names but you're looking at over 20 dollars minimum just because of the brand name of the quality and all that stuff so coast is very underestimated you know especially this little flashlight this little guy is very special i really really i'm really satisfied very satisfied with this purchase and I highly recommend this to anyone. So now we're gonna take it outside and we're gonna check out how it does in the outdoor field test.